What's going on, guys? My name is Jose. Welcome back to the IPO Nerd, the best place to learn about new companies going public and how to invest in them. Today, we're going to look at a little bit of news, IPO news, right? we got about four companies we're going to cover that file confidentially. They're going to be going public in the near future. So if you want to know what's coming up down the pipe, you want to drop a like, subscribe to the channel because it's going to be good. All right. So with that being said, let's get right into it. All right. So here we are on Google. IPO news, right? And the first thing that you can see right there is biotech IPO freeze continues at second quarter as lowest in more than a decade. I told you guys already that IPOs, they're not, they're not frozen. I mean, there's still a couple of companies going out there public, right? Just not as many as they used to back in, you know, when I started reporting IPOs, you know, in 2020, 2021. So this one hurts right here, guys, because I really like this place right here, Panera. Uh, you know, I love eating at Panera. They say that they're going to hold their IPO as well because they're seeing what's happening. You know, a lot of companies are just crashing and burning. I know this last week, Ivanhoe, right here, they went public and they actually performed pretty well compared to, you know, what was expected. But look, they came out around 1175 and the price is all the way down to $9. So the IPO market, there's, there's no market for it anymore. There's nobody really buying IPOs anymore. People don't care about IPOs anymore, which is... It's sad, you know, it's sad because there's some good companies out there that are really on their value right now at this time. But Panera, you know, they were on talks with a SPAC to merge with a SPAC and they changed their mind due to the souring economy. So very sad, very sad news to report today. CNBC is also reporting that the mood is very grim. Once hot fintech sector faces IPO delays and consolidation, John Collision, co-founder of Stripe. We've been waiting for this one, guys. Strike, Dan said that he was unsure if the company could still justify his $95 billion valuation given the current economic climate. Stripe, man, the payment method Stripe. We've been waiting for it. I've been reporting on it for the last two years, and now they're talking about they might be delayed as well. Another IPO that we've been waiting for is Ant, right? And every time they get close to IPO, the Chinese government strikes it down for some reason. So China to consider reviving Ant Group's IPO, Bloomberg says. Maybe it will happen this year. Maybe it will not. We'll see. Now, if you didn't know, Ant is controlled by billionaire Jack Ma from um, the other very popular uh, Chinese stock, Alibaba, right? So if Ant decides to uh, go public this year, it's going to be probably their biggest IPO ever. So we're going to keep an eye on that one as well. Reuters is reporting that the video app Thriller confidentially filed for IPO, Okay. Thriller is a video app. Now, do you guys use this video app? Let me know in the comments below. Earlier this month, Thriller ended a $5 billion merger with the video advertising software company Sea Change. Uh, very interesting. Deal making was uh, among Wall Street's hottest investment trends during the pandemic. However, the year has seen several companies shell plans for IPO. There was a video app. Uh, what was it called? Not Tubi, but it was like Quibi. Yeah, that one <laughs> went on there, right? after the uh, pandemic because people were not commuting anymore. So it was very strange, uh, very hard to IPO nowadays, guys. Very, very hard. Uh, like I said, the market has changed. People don't really care about IPOs anymore. Uh, with fears of recession, uh, people are just going over to like the most, uh, not even growth companies, you know, they're going to like straight up value companies. So uh, IPOs are actually hurting uh, this year and I believe it will be hurting for the near future. Are you an IPO nerd? Join my Patreon for extra perks and shout outs. Also, learn how to create and promote your own brand with my marketing masterclass available now. Link in the description. Here's another company that filed for IPO and then they laid off 10% of uh, employees. Um, I don't know if you've been uh, watching the news, but a lot of tech companies have been laying off uh, employees. We're talking about, uh, let's see, Carvana. I think Google laid off some people, uh, some other companies as well. So. During the pandemic, we needed people, we needed people, we needed people, right? And the power was in the employees' hands. Now the power's in the employers' hands with all this uh, inflation that is going on at this time. So a bullish tech company market conditions have turned and the tech IPO market has essentially closed. A week after cloud security firm Lacework laid off 20% of its workforce, Endpoint security firm Cyber Reason is laying off 10% of their workforce. The company confirmed in a statement this morning the company has 1,340 employees total, according to LinkedIn. So what's happening is this company is going public. They're not raising the money that they uh, expected, right, because their uh, stock price is plummeting, and they are resulting to laying off people. And it's very, very, very sad, very, very sad. 
Oceana Lithium Holes IPO to finance Brazil aspiration. Here's another company, an Australian company that is put a hold on their plans to IPO as well due to the economy. In the midst of all this, right, all the bad news, there are still companies that are not scared about the IPO and the, what's happening in the economy, right? Right here, Italy's the Nora is set for major debut in a European uh, first major IPO since Ukraine invasion. So there are companies out there that are brave, you know, quote unquote brave, and they're still going to IPO. The Nora is one of them. Now, the Nora was priced at 13 euros per share on Tuesday, valuing an Italian company at $2.7 billion. It's, they say it was the right time for us. We're not scared about the current market turbulences. And this is according to the CEO, Paolo De Lacha. Now, you know, best of luck to them. Uh, maybe things are a bit different in the uh, European market. I can tell you the U.S. market right now, IPOs, nobody wants to touch them. No one wants to touch them. Uh, the Nora, which is based in Milan, was founded in 1923 and specializes in electrode and water treatment technologies. Pretty cool. So a pretty cool company coming up for the European market. We're not going to get it over here in the U.S. market. But just wanted to point out that not everyone is uh, super worried and super scared about what's happening in the stock market right now. And guys, that's pretty much everything you're going to find on Google about IPO news right now uh, on the first and second pages of Google. Uh, as you can see, the sentiment is, is bad. It's horrible. People don't want to touch IPOs. But remember, when others are fearful, you know, be greedy. All right. So that's what I'm thinking. You know, I'm going to catch these IPOs at low, very, very low prices. And then when the economy recovers, which we will, right, the prices of these IPOs are going to skyrocket, in my opinion. Uh, not all of them, obviously, because not all every company that goes public is a good investment. But I'm looking at a few over here. I'm like, whoo, man, these are cheap. So if you want to know what I'm buying and what I'm investing in, make sure you go down in the description, join my Patreon. As always, guys, that's just my opinion. I'm not a financial advisor. This is not investing financial advice. So make sure you do your own research. And let me know what you guys think in the comments below. As always, guys, if you like this video, make sure you drop a like, subscribe to the channel. But more important than that, make sure you take it yourselves. And I'll see you soon. I bring up the pain. Rick is always the main. I make the market rain like acid rain. And invest, invest in channel you ever known, y'all. I take your girl, your house, your money, and leave you broke, son.